Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Developer Minded SEO. In today's video, I'm going to answer one of our subscriber question. He asked that if my page is not in Google index, does it mean my page will not rank in organic search results? To answer this question, yes it is. If your page is not in Google index, then the chances of getting that page in organic search result is low or we could say it is not possible. So you need to re-index those pages. So in this video, I'm going to share you five helpful tips to re-index the page in is Google. So before getting into this video, if you are new to my channel, I'm Ish, search engine marketer, helping small businesses and organizations building their website and promoting it to the right people at right time organically. Let's get into the video. So the number one, content is the king in SEO. So update your content. Give useful, relevant information to the user landing on your website. Try to make the useful content which provide right answer to the con user who is looking for. Number two, add internal linking to the updated content. Analyze what is the top performing page on your website. Either it may be a home page or it may be a blog post. So try adding internal link from that page to your updated content in the form of contextual links. Number three, update your website more frequently. Add, add new blog post. So as much as possible, you are, you are adding new blog post to the website this will help you to re-index your uh, old content and also the new content on your website number four share your blog post on social media channel the more you share the more people love your content and resharing it up again on the social media it helps to increase the chances of getting google to re-index your pages Number five, adding backlinks to the updated content. So links are the queen in SEO. So add relevant backlinks from an authority website to your new updated content in the, of the blog post. So these are the five useful tips whenever you can follow whenever to re-index your pages in Google. Apart from that, ensure you have submitted request indexing through Google Search Console and you have submitted your newly sitemap in Google Search Console. That's it from today's video. I hope I have given useful information through this video. And if you find it useful, subscribe to this channel. And if you have any technical SEO questions, don't forget to leave it in the comment section. And see you all in the another useful video. Until then. Bye.